Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is Growing Pains. No, this is not the video game version of the Adventures of the Seaver family. This is, in fact, a precision platformer from Smudge Cat Games. It's available on Steam, and it retails for $5. If the name Smudge Cat Games sounds familiar, maybe that's because you played some of their other great games like The Adventures of Shuggy or Gateways, both of which I played and enjoyed but for some reason never covered, so it's great to finally get a chance to officially cover a Smudge Cat Games game here in the form of Growing Pains. Now, this is normally the part where I'd start out by talking about the game, talking about how it plays, talking about mechanics, you know, talking about jump because it's a platformer, so that's important. But the first thing, and the most important thing we need to cover, is this list of names right here on the right side of the screen. You might recognize some of, this, some of these names, sure, but the name you want to focus in on is mine. Big Dave is cheap. In number four, in the fourth place on this globally, that's right, I am in fourth place, and I am super proud of that, because I don't, I don't ever do well on these games, right? And I'm top five on all of these levels, right? And that's a really big achievement. At least it would be if it wasn't pre-release and mostly just being played by press and other YouTubers right now, but for now I'm going to imagine that it's actually a cool thing and that when the game launches I'll stay in third place on level 5, but in reality I'm sure what's going to happen is I'm going to get pushed into the hundreds and I'll just generally feel bad about myself. But if somehow I maintain third place, I'll feel like the luckiest dreamer who never quit dreaming, and indeed I will be a happy man. Let's just go ahead and jump into the game, let's play a little bit, and let's kind of give you an idea of what this game is all about, because I've been charmed by it, I really do enjoy it. So you're going to select your difficulty, bronze, silver, gold, beat bronze to get silver, beat silver to get gold. These things ramp up in difficulty pretty darn quickly, so we're going to go to bronze just so I don't embarrass myself too much. So if you see press A to start, you look at the word press, you look below it, there's some kind of weird hairball thing, that's not a smudge on your screen. That's actually you. Well, that, that's me. That's the player character. Uh, let's just call him Mike. Mike has a couple of problems. Number one, Mike is trapped in this room, and he is uh, trapped by this rainbow force field door thing, and he wants to get out because, you know, nobody likes being held against their will. So how do you do that? Well, we all know you get through a rainbow force field by, well, collecting rainbow glow sticks. And so we do that, and we get free. But Mike has another problem, and this is more of a sort of a glandular problem or a genetic issue. Uh, Mike is constantly growing, and as such, he needs to evacuate these rooms before he gets too big for the exit. And that's pretty much the crux of Growing Pains. You are this thing, and you need to escape. There are two interesting mechanics that come into play here. Well, let's say maybe three interesting mechanics. The first is the ability to do a super jump. You'll see when I land, I kind of glow a little bit. If I jump again while that glow is happening, I'll get a little bit of a super jump. It's good, it's helpful, you will use it extremely frequently. The other mechanic that you can employ is the ability to actually force yourself to grow. Now, there are a lot of different reasons you want to do this. Chief amongst these would be, uh, well, the ability to make longer jumps. You also move faster when you're larger. You cover more ground more easily. And uh, just in general, it makes playing quite a bit simpler in certain areas. And that will be a strategic factor. A lot of people are going to figure out when to grow, when not to grow, and when to really take advantage of these uh, three basic mechanics. Now, I said three basic mechanics. Where's the third one? Well, the third one is the ability to actually prevent yourself from growing. And this will come into play from time to time. The way you do that is, on an Xbox 360 controller at least, by holding down the... Whoa the uh, left trigger. You will notice when I do that, a rainbow-colored bar at the top of the screen starts to drain. That is my ability to prevent my growth. That bar does not reset throughout the course of the entire stage. So you notice the series of rooms here that make up the first stage. I will not get any more of that back as I go through the stages. So I've got to be very careful to manage that because there will be times when it is absolutely mandatory for my survival. That was close. <laughs> So those three factors together create the interesting dynamics of this game. When to use the super jump, when to grow yourself, when to prevent yourself from growing. These are all things that will factor into your runs and factor into getting the best times 
on your runs. Of course, things like line and how exactly you tackle particular obstacles will factor heavily into how well you do in a level, but these core mechanics will also be a really big part. For instance, this area right here, I can't make that jump as a little guy, but if I pump myself up a little bit, I should be able to make that jump pretty easily jump down and grab all of these little rainbow colored glow sticks in order to escape. You'll also notice that sort of my, my size is governed by the door, obviously. I can't get bigger than the door. So that also kind of gives you a clue as to kind of how big you can be in a level. And it's a bit of a bit of a tip of the hand as to kind of what you should be doing in a level. If a door is really big and you haven't forced yourself to grow during a level, you probably did something wrong. You probably took a suboptimal route through that level. So it's an interesting mechanic that's going to actually come into uh, into play as as people start to to challenge for those top times. You see, number one is the developer, and and you're going to see people challenging those times and using these three basic mechanics in order to put together runs that will probably blow your mind. And if you want to have your mind blown you can actually go and look at the runs of other people. So for instance, if we want to see how Smudge Cat actually tackled this, we can go over to this uh, his spot in the rankings and we can actually take a look at it. We can press the Y button and it'll actually show us the recording of exactly how he did it. If we press A, we're going to see the line that he took. Now doing this actually will help you, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually going to be able to take a line just because you can kind of see a line. Uh, just because you know what you're supposed to do isn't going to give you the ability to do it, I guess is what I'm saying. But this is a really cool feature. I've seen it in other games like, uh, say, Super Splatters had it, but it's a really great feature if you're just stuck and you have no idea how somebody finished a, a level a full minute faster than you did, hop in here, take a look at the recordings, and you actually, uh, you actually might be able to uh, get an edge. You know, there's a tactic right here. As you can see right there, he killed himself because it's a lot faster to get out of here by using a death, using a life. You can see your lives on the uh, upper left-hand corner and just popping out. You know, it's way, way faster to do that. And that's not necessarily something that you're gonna figure out for quite some time if you're experimenting on your own. So it really, really helps to watch these if you're trying to get really good times. If you're not trying to get good times, whatever, you know, go ahead and just, uh, go ahead and just uh, play to your heart's content. I mean, nothing is stopping you. I mean, one of the main things that you want to do here is just get through the levels. I mean, doing a great time is, is wonderful and all, but ultimately it doesn't mean anything unless you like the leaderboards. So yeah, this is pretty much all there is to this game. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. It's simple, it's fun, but one thing that I will tell you that I will caution some people about as you're looking at it, you know, the graphics, okay? Are they the best graphics in the world? No, and I know some people will care about this more than others. Uh, I personally don't have a problem with it. The simplistic graphics are not necessarily a, a downside for me but I know that they will be for some people. So make that decision on your own. Kind of take a look at the game and decide whether or not graphics matter that much to you. If they don't matter, then this is a great game. It has a lot of fun potential challenging your friends. And in general, it's just, it's a fun time. I mean, I really, really cannot, uh, cannot expect more out of a, uh, that sounded really mechanic. Can I really cannot expect more. Uh, I really can't expect more out of a $5 game. I mean, I have enjoyed what I've played of this game so far, and I think that you really would enjoy this game too if you're into precision platformers. You can see this is my run, uh, my uh, best run. You can see me just making some basic mistakes, thinking back to the Smudge Cat run. Uh, you know, you can see some places where I could be trimming time off like crazy on this run, where I'm making I'm just, I stood still for like a half a second there. Um, and that's the cool thing about this game, perfecting it, running through it, learning the, the lines, learning how to actually uh, get through a level in an efficient manner. I just, it's, it's great. It is really, really great. You see me using the killing myself tactic there, but, uh, I think you should take a look at growing pains, decide for yourself whether or not it's something that you would enjoy. I can recommend it highly for its uh, precision platforming for the leaderboard function. And just generally because it's a fun game and I really, really do like it. So take a look at it. If you want the description will contain all of the relevant information as always. And, uh, I just want to say, you know, Thanks for sharing the laughter and love here as we took a look at Growing Pains. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.